Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about general intelligence. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about general intelligence. Now, intelligence can be many things, and people have different ideas of what exactly intelligence is when you talk to them. Some people might define it as how book smart or academically gifted you are. Others might say it has more to do with how well you figure things out, like your problem-solving ability. Others might say it's how creative you are or how much common sense you have. The list goes on and on and on. But when it comes to scientifically defining intelligence, there is one gold standard, general intelligence. General intelligence is the most traditional way of looking at intelligence and also the one with the most statistical proof. General intelligence, also called G or Spearman's G, was first developed by statistician Charles Spearman. He used a statistical technique called factor analysis to show that one type of intelligence seems to impact many testable domains. That means that there's just one kind of intelligence that affects you across a lot of different areas. So if I give someone a math test and a problem solving task and a word game to figure out, a person with a higher intelligence is going to do better across all of these tests than someone with lower intelligence. Intelligence, when viewed this way, is your basic information processing ability, or as a lot of us would call it, your IQ or intelligence quotient. In fact, he first popularized intelligence tests in the U.S. by looking at things like IQ, and they were developed for military job placement. A version of the test is even still used today. Our military viewers will know it as the ASVAB, or Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. It's kind of a mouthful. An ASVAB score will determine if you're qualified to enter the armed services. There is a bottom limit on acceptance. And when I talk about general intelligence, this is usually where people start to stand back a minute. Instinctually, it seems unfair that someone shouldn't be able to do a job that they want to do because of how intelligent they are, which could be the case with the ASVAB. After all, you didn't get to choose your level of intelligence, and certainly there are other things that go into your being successful, such as your motivation or your emotional stability. Remember, your intelligence is just one thing that helps make you, you. How tall you are, how fast you are, how pretty you are. Those things are all things people use to judge us too. Your level of intelligence doesn't make you good or bad, but having this kind of statistically proven tool does give psychologists just one more thing to look at when they're trying to figure out human behavior. Right now, general intelligence is the best way scientists have to measure someone's intelligence. And it's been shown over and over again to be a reliable measure and has been tested across many different scientific areas, even anatomically and genetically. It's even been shown to be highly heritable. If you want to find out more about where your intelligence comes from, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! General intelligence, he sounds like, like kind of threatening. Yeah, he's like, he's like the bad guy from G.I. Joe. <laughs> General intelligence.